everybody. This is Boot Shambi. Welcome to the show. Fans, if you're sitting in section... Right, let's go, right here. And people have choked over the years. Great American small park instead of... Ballpark. When the season ends, it's... Come in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Masataka Yoshida, the next to hit for the Orioles. There's a strike. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. And they're down to their last out. Well, that splitter out of the hand, it just sort of jumps on you, and your interpretation is here comes a fastball again. Well, it never really reaches because the bottom falls out of it, and you swing over the top, and that's why they call it a split finger fastball because it looks like a four seamer. Rutschman in the box now, takes strike one. That one finds the zone, and it's on two. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gap. Base hit right field. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Here's Marcus Simi. Down to their final out, but an opportunity. Swing it off. Pop up. Muncy under it. And that'll do it. The A's use two pitchers to combine for the shutout. John Chambi, Chris Singleton, late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Now it's J.D. Davis, 0 for 3, a fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Here's the 0-2. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Hey, we got one. There goes hey, down looking. It's got to be a short game. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all home. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. So it's their last chance in this one. Now the number two hitter, Austin Hayes. Hit to right, and that should do it. And that'll do it. The A's take the first two games of this series.
Welcome in, John Chami, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Eloy Jimenez now. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. They hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? And the righty deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And he grounds one to the right side. And he picks it up, and he'll put it in his pocket. Kicks and deals. Hey, got got him gotta be a short game. Then I gotta get him to lunch. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and it kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Throw to first. Gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. So it's their last chance in this one. Here's the White Sox DH. Gavin Sheets. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Here in the second game of the series. Next offering in there for a strike. And the count is 0-2. And the White Sox down to their final strike. The pitch. Got it. Yeah, that it gotta is be a short game. game. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans. Time of the ball game. Two hours. In. John Chambi, Chris Singleton, late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Stuart Fairchild. That one fouled off. Hey, look, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. I mean, just such a big difference mentally when you're chasing two runs instead of one. He's two outs away. Here's the second baseman, Matt McClain foul back our way and that's out of play this is the type of hitter his club wants it to play especially playing from behind he's hoping to start a rally right here and the pitch Hurry up, got him looking it's gotta be a short game did not like then i gotta call. get home call just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there and i don't think he was taking it thinking it might be a cold ball or anything i just think he was flat out frozen did not expect that location in my opinion and a swing and a miss Two-run game with two away here in the yeah, bottom of the ninth. It's got to be a short yeah. game. And that'll do it. Here now is our final line for this episode. In John Chami, Chris Singleton, Number late 31. stages of this one. Hector. Nobody out in the ninth. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Oh. Now up for St. Louis, Tommy Edmund. The old one. On the ground to short, Davidson. On to first. Yeah. One up, one down. Lars Newtbar. Next up for the Cardinals. Late on that fastball. No ball. He's a One bad strike. ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Oh, Not an easy out by any means. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Oh, Got him yeah, spinning. It's got to be a short game. Then I got to go to lunch. Here's Nolan Arenado. 
Swing and a miss. Oh, one. one. They're down to their final strike. This could end it. Swing and a miss. Gotta be a short game. That finishes the evening's action. Well, Brooke, four games wasn't too long of a losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the win column. Now you can turn things around, get on the right track, and probably start a winning streak from here. Our final one. In John Chami, Chris Singleton, Number late 31. stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Here's Garrett Hampson. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. I'd say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. Kicks and fires. Swings and misses. It's got to be a short game. Then Came after with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and right there he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. Tied at six. Christopher Morell, the next Cub to hit. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Right side, foul territory. And that's the third out. Nothing happening. On to extra innings. And now the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. As the lefty gets to work. Popped up on the left side of the infield. Makes the catch for the out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Tied at six. Dansby Swanson stands in. Aye. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to Aye. chase pitches outside the zone, he still oh, might oh, beat you. Right. Not an easy out by any means. Man at second. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Up the middle, Davidson. Tosses the first. Two in a row set down to start the 10. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a hit. But at the end of the day, it's a good at bad, especially when you're playing extra innings. At the belt and fires. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Two down, go ahead, run at scoring position. Yeah, and a swing and a miss. A and good yeah. work there as he gets a one, two, three. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Number Late 31. stages of this one, Hector. nobody out Pitching in the night. Tori Lovello making Number a move 15. for a new bat. Emmanuel Hector. Rivera. And he would be the tie-in run, boot, so we may see him try to launch one if he gets a good pitch to handle. 
Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit and then from there can really settle in. Trying to close out a one-run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. And a swing and a miss. Be a short and game. two away down. Then I gotta well, that's a blue one. zone right there or no the cold no zone no on the hitting chart. No Just doesn't have much success. No in that part of the strike zone and a really good job of the pitcher executing try to go there as often as you can the numbers are in your favor and a pop-up right side foul territory and that'll do it the A's hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game sometimes it takes just getting away from home players can sort of come together Welcome in, John Chomby, Chris Number Singleton. 31. Late stages Next of this turn. one, nobody out no in the ninth. And now for Seattle, J.P. Crawford. Fastball for a strike. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Swing through it, and that's it's gotta a be a short down. game. Then I gotta get home for lunch. So the lineup flips over. Now batting key Brian Hayes. And a foul ball. Gomez, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. And they're down to their last out. A couple of pitches and a quick out. Jonathan Indy at the plate. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. And a foul ball. Two-run game, a two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Got hey up, and that it's is gotta be a short game. game. <laughs> it's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background oh, isn't what you like, like, but they didn't let any of those things distract. Welcome in, John Chomby, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Hayes stands in now and watches strike one. Fought off foul. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard batter. because that just got to be a short game. It makes the then I gotta get home for lunch. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and it kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Rodriguez in the box now. No balls and a strike. Hit to right, and that should do it. And that'll do it. The A's with the rubber match of this three game. He's on the road before heading back home. You go home. Welcome in, John Chomby, Chris Singleton. Number Late 31. stages of this one, Hector. nobody out in the ninth. Well, one run game, and here is Michael Conforto. And that's in for a strike. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end, trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what. You're going to try to catch things out front, so off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Just missed. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close 
Yeah, he's got to be a short down. Yeah, they got to get home for lunch. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Looking to get the tying run on base. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. A's leading by a run here in game one of this three-game set. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. This to center field. And there's two away. One out left for the Giants. And digging in for San Francisco, Blake Sable. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. This could end it. Two outs. Got it. Yeah, man, that's got to be a short game. game. If you just joined us, John Shambi and Chris Singleton as we've got two away in the ninth. Here's Jason Hayward. Fly ball center field. Robles on the move. Base hit and a run comes in. Picks himself up in RBI. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there. Lift it to left, and this should do it. And that'll do it. The A's hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, Luke, four games wasn't too long of a losing streak. But Come in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Here's Josh Young. Ground ball to the right side. And that chance handled. Slings the first. One up, one down. Hey, partner, how's your scorecard looking right now? A little dicey. Kind of hieroglyphics style at the moment. You know what it's like, Singy? Remember our trip to London? Yankees and Red Sox in 2019. I think there were... Were there 50 runs scored in the two games combined? My scorecard was ugly for that series. Heim, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. They're down to their final strike. Yeah, pretty ridiculous. And you use like five different colors of pens, so like it's just popped up. Muncy drifts towards it. And that'll do it. The A's slug their way to a win in this one. John Chambi, Chris Singleton, late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. And here is Ezekiel Duran. That one's in there. That's strike one. Gomez, just 19 years old. And he was selected to the All-Star game last year. 0-2 oh now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Hey, hey goes batter. Looking. It's got to be a short game. Then I got to get home for lunch. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out. You get settled in. You feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump. And kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. 
No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not yeah, pressing batter. too hard because be a that just game. compounds things and makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help. Never helped me. No, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in, and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly, but you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Breaking ball inside. Yeah, the count one and two. The Rangers down to their final strike. Just missed. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game. Hey, and a is. swing and a miss, a short and game. that is yeah. a ball game. Well, you can see this team is feeling it right now. Look at the smiles, look at the high fives. They feel real good about this three-game series. Come in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Well, one run game. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Swing and a miss. It's got to be a short game. Then I gotta get and now one away. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. A one-run lead as we play game one of this four-game series. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Two away. <laughs> Last chance for the Royals. Michael Massey digs in now. And a foul ball left side. Trying to close out a one-run lead. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Be a short game. game. Yeah. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level, and you start to gain this momentum, and you think that you're never going to lose yeah, a game again because things are clicking tonight. up and down the lineup. Welcome now, in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Freddie for me now at the plate. Right through there for a strike. Gomez measures six feet even, 180 pounds, and he was selected for the All-Star game last year. Hey, and batter. For the it's got to be a short game. Then I got to get home for lunch. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that... You know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Here's the 0-2. Hey, it's got to be a short strikeout. game. Then I got to get This is definitely lunch. what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. And a pitch. They're down to their final strike. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. The Athletics trying to close out a three-run lead here in the last half of inning number nine. Now, hey, batter. It's got to be a short game. Then... The number seven is such a cool and sort of lucky number. Well, this team has been playing really well, but to win seven games in a row, uh, there's been some luck and there's been some really good play. I think you get to this point. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Pasquantino in the box now. Take strike one. Well, they kept it pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against it. On the ground to third. 
Zips it across. One up, one down. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this. Positioned perfectly. A one-run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. Looking to get the tying run on base. Just missed. It's got to be a short game. Then I got to get home. He came Come out on. of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. <laughs> but that time, a little no anxious. Jose Azokar. So they're down to their final out. At the play, Jose Azokar. Strike one. Trying to close out a one-run lead here in the finale of this four-game set. One and one. one strike away. Swing and a miss, and that's the ball game. Well, when you reel off eight wins in a row, you're this close to double digits, and now all of a sudden it's a challenge within a challenge. Come in, John Chami, Chris Singleton. Number Late stages of this one. Hector. Nobody out in the ninth. Matt Theis comes up to hit here. He's already homered here in this one. Gomez, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. At the belt and fire. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. One down, base is empty. That misses the zone, and it's one and two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. This one popped up under it. He makes the grab, and there's two down. So they're down to their final out at the play. Santiago Espinal found back our way, and that's out of play. Two down, nobody on. Here in the third and final game of the series. Good eye right there. The Angels down to their final strike. Right through there. It's got to be a short and game. that is the ball game. Well, there was no letdown after they got to 10 wins. Came out today, pushed into 11. The opposition looks disgusting. Come in, John Chomby, Chris Singleton. Number Late 31. stages of this one. Hector. Nobody out in the ninth. Taylor Wall digs in now. Out towards right center field. On the move to the gap. Puts it away for the out. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Gomez, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. Here's the 0-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. This guy at the dish excels in two-strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. On the ground, Allen. 
And they're down to their last out. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Michael A. Taylor. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Right through there for a strike. One ball in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. The Tigers down to their final strike. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. And that'll do it. The A's salvage the finale of this three-game series. This is just a nice win. Three-nothing ball game. You feel comfortable about the three runs that you scored, but you also know. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Bo Bichette up to the dish. Just missed. Gomez, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a split. Throws to first, and Bichette is retired. He's two outs away. Adam Frazier next up for the Blue Jays. Power relievers, one after another, coming out of the bullpen these days. Got to be ready for that first pitch heater. He's dealing with a great two-strike hitter right here. The strikeout is not automatic. Bases empty, one away. Here in the last half of inning number nine. And they'll do it again. That's outside. Now one and two. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Next offering way off the plate. Got looking for the it's strikeout. Be a short game. Now only then one go. out oh, remaining. Gosh. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Late on that fastball. Two down, nobody on. We're in the last half of the night. Yeah, batter. It's got to be a short game. And that'll do it. Well, the goal when you go on the road is to at least play 500 ball. Well, they've been winning series. They win this one here. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for tuning in. And we've got a good one going here in extra innings. Here's Trevor Story. And Boog, I'd say he's due. That one misses. Ball one. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers they seem to live for. When you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it. But this is where they earn their keep. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. Into center, Butler sizing this one up. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Brings it in, two away. Last out for the Red Sox in this one. And stepping in for Boston, huh? Swing and this one's blasted. It's got a chance, and it's off the green monster. Runner 
from second crosses the play. It's 3-3. Three, three. It's a two-out double, and the winning run is at second base. So two down, now batting Tristan Casas. And fouled off. So here in the three spot, Chris, a hitter, low average, but high slow. Well, one thing he's going to lean on are the metrics. His exit velocity has been really good. He's just had some bad luck hitting the ball right at people. Hey, up, and down on strikes he goes. Game. That ends the inning up. and stops things from getting out of hand. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. here in Boston and now the catcher comes up to him Shea Langoliers fastball for a strike and it's 0-1 hitter's got some good opposite field power what I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit so the tying run at second and that one missing low well if he's going to do something special right here it's going to have to happen with two strikes and a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Makes the grab. Runner tags at second. And the throws offline, safe at third. So here's Brown at the plate. He's been a great free agent side. Strike on the inside corner. Swing and a ball popped up. Has this one sized up? But it's the pitcher that makes the play. Two up, two down. Couple of pitches and a quick out. Now batter, the designated hitter. Today, Rafael. So it's their last chance in this one. And here is Sidane Rafaela. Swings and misses. Strike one. Fastball for a strike. He's falling behind in a huge spot, boo. Got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the back. Hey, up, Swings and it's misses. Be a short game. Him out. And this one is over with the tying run stranded just 90 feet away. The final line for a power ball. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Number Singleton. 31. Late stages Hester. of this one. Nobody out Go in the ninth. And now Go it's Alec Bohm. On the corner for a strike. Gomez, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. Fires over to first. One up, one down. He's two outs away. And digging in for Philadelphia, Edmundo Sosa. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. So they're down to their final out. So digging in now for Philadelphia. JT right side and this should do it. Throw to first and ball game. And the A's claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Well, Luke, four games wasn't too long of a losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the win column. Now you can turn things around, get on the right track, and probably start a winning streak. In John Chami, Chris Singleton, Number late 31. stages of this one, nobody Hector. out in the ninth. Time the batter now as he swings and misses oh, for yeah. strike one. The pitch 
cut oh, yeah. and he struck him it's gotta out. be a short game. And a strikeout for the first play. out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what now you want to see out of your closer. Right Come in Wyatt. and close the door. Wyatt. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. One down, base is empty. Foul ball, it stays, nothing in two. Here comes a pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. The pitch. Hey, yeah, and misses. Be a short game. Out. Then I gotta get home from work. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. Yeah, that it's that gotta be a short game. game. Exactly. Yeah. He closes out his 50th career save, so that one has a little extra meaning to it. You don't collect this many saves by accident. Another job well done. Here now with our final line for tonight. Come in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. So digging in, Jared Walsh. And first offering is fouled off. Gomez, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's one down. He's two outs away. Connor Norby digs in now at a foul ball. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, makes the catch, and there's two down. So it's their last chance in this one. Now here's the Detroit catcher, Tom Murphy. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Two out space is empty. Swing yeah, and a miss. It's and be a short him. game. And that yeah, is the ball game. <laughs> Welcome in, John Chami, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Jared Walsh up now for the Tigers. He swings and misses at the first pitch. All in one. Gomez, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. Here comes a pitch. Sits him batter. down looking. It's got to be a short Couldn't game. Couldn't pull the trigger no, on a fastball at the knees. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. One down, base is empty. And they'll do it again. Cuts yeah, on it, batter. misses. That's gotta be a, a strike game. Out. Couldn't then I gotta catch up to the heater. Well, no, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated. And then 
this is going to go quickly, but you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. They're down to their final strike. Two-run game, a two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Davidson. Throw to first, and ball game. And the A's claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Well, this is the perfect way to finish up a road trip, Ace. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Number Late 31. stages of this one. Victor. Nobody out in the ninth. Go, Here's Byron Buxton. Go, that one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. Gomez, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98. But a really good pass at the ball. Hey, up, Got him it's got to be a short game. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Swing and a miss. It's got to be a short game. Now only one out remaining. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes yeah, yeah. in, and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated, and then this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Gomez is just one strike away. Going to count one and two. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. On the ground to first, and he grabs it, foul, and a pitch. Just misses, and it's a full count. Pressure mountain right here with the tying run and the on hey, Swing and a miss, a and game. he got him, yeah. and that'll do it. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Players start hitting up and down the lineup. I don't want to know who's going to come up with the big hit. Come in, John Chami, Chris Singleton. Number Late 31. stages of this one. Hector. Nobody out in the ninth. Go, Mitch Garver up to hit here. 
the catcher, Mitch Garver. Straight up. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And there's a little run. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit. And the launch angle, not where he needed it to be. One down now. One down. And that one fouled off. Gomez, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. Back to the mound. He's got it. Sends it to first. Two up, two down. Off-speed pitch, and it looked like he just continued his momentum towards home plate after releasing that perfect position to make a play and help himself out. So it's their last chance in this one. And now here is J.P. Crawford. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Next pitch is downstairs. Two out spaces empty. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Ground ball right side. Throw the first and ball game. And the A's take the series opener here at home. The final one's here for our Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Number Singleton. 31. Late stages Hester. of this one. Nobody out no in the ninth. Luis Robert now. One for three. And a foul ball. They hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? The 0-2. Out to center on the move. You got it. You got it. Takes it in for the out. He's two outs away. Andrew Vaughn now. Late with the swing there. Gomez, a former All Star. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. Fastball for a strike. 0 oh, and 2 now. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. White Sox yeah, down to their final out. Well, you always want those pitches back as a hitter. It caught a lot of the zone and definitely not the intended location. But those splitters can dance around and miss a barrel even when they're not perfectly executed. This could end it. Right yeah, through matter. there. Got it's got to be a that short game. finishes the evening's yeah. action. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for tuning in. And we've got a good one going here in extra innings. Now into the game, Victor Robles. He'll be patrolling center field. Max Stassi comes up to hit. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-1. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Tying run at the plate. Good eye right there. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves. Yeah, yeah, and a swing and a miss. Be a short game. And here in the yeah, tank, yeah, the leadoff man is out. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. No matter, Come no in eight. and close Second the door. Man. Cancel Kick any up. hope that that opponent no, has no in making some type of comeback in the ball game. <laughs> Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Gonzalez in the box now. Take strike one. Just about gives his skipper a heart attack, but that's where he functions best. Swing and a miss. Struck it's got to be a out. short game. 
Then I gotta get he came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. So they're down to their final out. Here's the left fielder, Jimmy Medrano. Fastball for a strike. With the tying run at the plate. And the home team trying to pull it out. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. Got it! Yeah, it's and it's that be a short is the game. ball game. Yeah. This is a huge win to take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home feeling good about yourselves. You've got some good moments. Welcome in, John Shambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Well, one run game, and now Austin Riley. And he takes one right on the black. It's 0 1. They hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. One run game, bottom nine. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Drops into the glove, and there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Rolls across the diamond, and Albies is retired. So it's their last chance in this one. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Sean Swing and a bouncer, Hernias. Throw to first, and ball game. And the A's take game one of the series on the road. It's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background is... Welcome in, John Shambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Three, four, five, due up for the home team. Now it's J.D. Martinez. Swing it up, pop up. Muncy settles underneath it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And there's one away. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Gomez, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. One out, one out. There's a swing and a miss. The Yankees looking to rally. Caught it, looking batter. for the K. It's got to be a short game. Then oh, I got really a nice job of finishing the hitter off right there. Oh, Long side Good command, man. fastball DJ. firm to the outside corner. Love Tell you what, you. very difficult to do anything with that pitch, even if you do swing. The one Swings through that one for strike two. The Yankees down to their final strike. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. The pitch. Foul ball still 0-2. Two. two out spaces empty. Popped up right side. Gets under it. And that'll do it. The A's even this series up at a game apiece. John Chami, Chris Singleton, late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Jason Dominguez, now at the plate. Swing and a miss, strike one. And that is cut on and missed, and it's 0-2. Looking to get the tying run on hey, base. Batter. It's got to be a short game. Out then I got to go. Well, the first batter, it's always.
is a big one for the Clarence. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Swing and a ball popped up. He's under it. And there's two away. A couple of pitches and a quick out. So it's their last chance in this one. And up next for New York, Corey Jokes. And a big swing and a miss. Trying to close out a one-run lead. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Got him! Yeah, and that's gotta the be a short game. game. Yeah. This is a huge win to take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home feeling good about yourselves. You've got some good moments. Welcome in, John Chami, Chris Singleton. Number Late 31. stages of this one. Nobody Victor. out in the ninth. Go, man. So the batting order turns over. Tyrone Blanco steps in for the Royals. And a big swing and a miss. Gomez, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. Well, a good slider from an opposite-handed pitcher has to stay in that tunnel just a little bit longer. It's got to be a short game. Can cause you to pull it off, and right there, the hitter clearly couldn't do anything with it. He's two outs away. And now Jordan Westberg. And yeah, that's outside. And that's ball one. He was late there, strike one. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. Popped up, Muncy settles underneath it. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. So they're down to their final out. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. On the ground, and this should do it. Throw to first and ball game. And the A's take the series opener here at home. Here now is our final line for tonight. In John Chami, Chris Singleton, Number late 31. stages of this one, nobody Victor. out in the ninth. Go, man. Well, one run game. Here's Ramon Laureano. <laughs> Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to score it out. Looking to get the tying run on base. Yeah, Swing and a miss struck him out. 
Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. So they're down to their final out. Andy Abanez next up for the Blue Jays. And a foul ball. Power relievers, one after another, coming out of the bullpen these days. Got to be ready for that. Ripped, but it curls foul. He's dealing with a great two-strike hitter right here. The strikeout is not automatic. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Gomez is just one strike Great away. Battle. It's got to be a short game. And that is yeah. it. He's done it again, Boog. That's his 30th save of the year as he puts another game to bed. Sweet dreams, everyone. Welcome in, John Chami, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Loriano comes up the hit. One for three. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Gomez, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. Kicks and fires. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And here it comes. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And down on a, strikes. Gotta be a short and game. A strike out for the first out point. here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. One out, base is empty. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And there's two away. One out left for the Blue Jays. Isaiah Kiner-Falefa up to the plate. Foul ball there. Two down, nobody on. Up the middle. Muncy. Throw to first and ball game. And the A's take the first two games of this series. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans. Welcome in, John Chomby, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. So digging in, Orelvis Martinez. Swings through that one for strike one. Gomez, a former all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. Elliott makes the grab one away. Now that the right field. He's two outs away. Next to hit, Rafael Lantigua. And first offering is fouled off. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss, 98 on the gun. At the belt and fires. Swings through that one, it's a strike. Gotta be a short game. Then I gotta get home. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that is just so tough to fight off. It's kind of like a cutter. It just can eat you off, saw you off. Tell you what, hitters have nightmares about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. The 0-1. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The Jays down to their final strike. Yeah, it. It's gotta be a short game. This yeah, afternoon. Yeah. This is pure domination at home. Huge sweep. And now you go on the road. The flight's going to be very enjoyable. Get into the next city. Get a nice.
Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Lau at the plate. For Tampa Bay. The designated hitter. Oh, that insurance run in the bottom of the eighth inning was wow. so good to add on, especially with this power hitter at the plate. If he goes deep, you're still up in the ball game. Really good spot to be in right here. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Swings through that. And it's a strike out. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Bounced up the middle. Gets it to first. Two up, two down. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip on the baseball, and make a strong, accurate throw. Last chance for the Rays. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Nico Holsizer popped up. Montero on the move towards the line. And that's a fair ball. Around first and hustling for second. The tag, and that's the ball game. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level. And you start to gain this momentum. And you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. The team is making a move. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Well, one run game. And now it's Jose Siri. Swing and a miss. Oh and it's 0-1. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Fall off foul. Nobody here, nobody. Swing and a That's gotta a strike be a short Then I gotta get home for lunch. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you yeah. feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the oh jump, my. and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. Looking to get the tying run on base. Yeah, it's got to be a short there at 98 miles an hour. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Tap to first. Montero steps on the bag himself. Ball game. But with his sixth win in a row, all of a sudden, you start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, you know what, we're good. Come in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Well, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. And a pop-up. Right side, foul territory. And Castellanos is out. And there's one down. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync. And the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. McCormick in the box now. Takes strike one. That one finds the zone. No balls, two strikes. Looking to get the tying run on base. That one to first, and he grabs it. Foul. The pitch. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Get it, batter. It's got to be a short game. Then I gotta get you can tell he wasn't expecting that ball to break back in on him. He may have been looking for something away, maybe something soft. But that slider on the inside corner absolutely froze it. Astros down to their last out. 
Jeremy Pena now at the plate. Right side. Muncie on the run. Sent it over to first. And that is the ball game. This is why they turn to him to close out games. He's so reliable in these spots, and he just proved it for the 35th time this season. Nice job getting it done out of the pen. Welcome in. We're in the eight. Two men out. John Shambi along with Chris Singleton. Go ahead. So two down. Now it's the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. Fastball for a strike. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. That's long. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and trying. to right makes the grab and that'll end the inning and welcome back to the ballpark ready to go for the last half of the inning here's Nicholas Castellanos strike one this one popped up right side makes the grab and there's one down here's the center fielder Chaz McCormick yeah, there's the strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Swing, it, it, and that's it's got to be a short down. game. Then I got to get home for lunch. Up next to the afternoon. Vic Caratini at the plate. Victor Caratini. Swings through that one. No ball. Pitch in for a strike. 0 oh 2. Back to him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. Hey, up, Goes down hey, it's swinging be a short for the game. strikeout. Then I gotta get That's the third left. out, and we'll play extra innings in this one. Astros go. Back here at Minute Maid Park. We're in extras here. Now it's the shortstop, Tyler Whitaker. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. When you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. Hey, it goes down looking. It's got to be a short game. Then I got to get home from Well, lunch. that's a pitch, that slider from an opposite-handed pitcher that you now usually back. see Second very pitch. well, but for some okay. reason he didn't pick it up, and it just kind of okay. got into the strike zone late. Gave up on it a little bit early. Back to the top of the lineup. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Fought off foul. So the tying run at second. Late on that fastball. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. That one just misses. It's a good take. To the right side, and that one handled. Tosses to first, and they get out to Bay for the out. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice, nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, now get right. the ground ball. Excellent right piece there. of work. So it's their last chance in this one, and now it's Alex Bregman, and fouled off. Two outs. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. The Astros down to their final yeah, strike. Batter. It's got to be a short game. game. And this one is over with the tying run stranded just 90 feet away. Here now is our final line. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. And now the center fielder, Michael Harris. There's a strike. One run across in the frame so far here in the last half of inning number nine. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swing it's got to be a short game. Then I got to get home for lunch. Well, I definitely say that's a statement strikeout right there. You come out of the bullpen, go right after the hitters, and three pitches later, you got one out. Tell you what, if you're in the dugout, you're looking at each other and saying, he's going to be tough to get to today. And he deals. That one fouled off. One down, base is empty. Hey, that batter. It's got to be a short game. Then I got to get home for lunch. Now that so they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Ryan McMahon on the ground, and this should do it. On the first ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some time. Come in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Number Late stages of this one. Catcher. Nobody out in the ninth. And now the switch hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. Hey, Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. Moncada oh. tossed to first. They go 5-3 for the first out as the third baseman makes the play from the shortstop the spot baseman. in the ship. Ezekiel, Ezekiel Duran, Duran stepping in for the Rangers. Aye. Fastball for a strike. Gomez, multi-time All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. The 2 on the ground. Gloves it on the dive. Throws from his knees. On the money. Nice play. Look at how he dives right there. He's able to pop up to both knees. Not enough time to get to his feet, but he threw a cannon across the diamond to get the runner. Taylor, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. That's a strike. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Swing and a miss. It's got to be a short game. Rangers go down in order. Three up, three down. That's always nice to grab the opener of a series you come into a new ballpark and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to the mound doesn't look straight the background isn't what you like but they didn't let it In. John Chami, Chris Singleton, Number late 31. stages of this one. Nobody Victor. out in the ninth. Go, well, one run game. Jose Altuve up to it here. And fouled off. The healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98. But a really good pass at the ball. They hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? And that one is lifted in the air, riding in towards the infield. No trouble here. Hits it away for the eye. And there's one away. He's two outs away. Yainer Diaz up next for the Astros. Swing and he popped it up. Under it. Makes the grab. Two down. Got the pitch that he wanted. Just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit. And the launch angle not where he needed it to be. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Gomez is just one strike away. Yeah, batter. It's gotta be a short game. And that's the ball game. Well, this team just hadn't been playing fundamentally sound baseball, but today they put it together. This should start them rolling now. You have to pay attention to the details. If you do that with good pitching, good defense, you will win most of your...
Singleton. I'm John Shambi. Thanks Number for joining 31. us. Ninth Thank inning here with one away. Go, one down. Now back. Harold Ramirez at the, the dish. Harold. Fastball for a strike. Now, Boog, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. And they're down to their last A Couple of pitches and a quick out. Here's Royce Lewis. They hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? Foul ball. Two-run game, but two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Be a short game. That finishes yeah. the evening's action. It's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The yeah, background isn't what you like. But they didn't let any of those things. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Now it's going to be Matt Walmer. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Gomez, a former All-Star, just 19 years old. And he's a native of Nicaragua. Here's the 0-2. That's towards center. Robles on the move. Makes the grab yeah. run down. The catcher, number 35. He's oh, two yeah. outs away. Diaz. And now it's Elias Diaz. In the air, left side. On his way over. Two down. <laughs> so it's their last chance in this one. Trevor Larnick, the next twin up to hit. And a big swing and a miss. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. Got hey, it matter. It's got to be a short game. Then this team has won the series with the win in this game today. So you got your eye on a sweep. It's not going to be easy to do. When you're on the road, a home team is always fighting to keep yeah, themselves alive. So got to come out execute. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for tuning in. And we've got a good one going here in extra innings. Well, one run game. Here's Carlos Correa. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it. But this is where they earn their keep. Just missed. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine what hey, swing and it's a miss be a short at the game. splitter and then it's I a strikeout. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. With the winning run at the plate, and we're in the last half of the tenth. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it, so that's a good take by him. And a pitch. And that one hit to first. Takes it himself. Now only one out remaining. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. 6-5 Oakland. And the home team trying to pull it out. Swings and misses. That's strike two. He's falling behind in a huge spot, but we've got it. Hey, it Sets him down. It's be a short game. Game. And this one is over with the tying run stranded just 90 feet away. Oh, you can see this team is feeling it right now. Look at the smiles. Look at the high fives. They feel real good about this.
come in. John Chami, Chris Singleton, late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. Francisco Alvarez. Swing and a foul straight back. Gomez, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. The 0-2. Hits and misses. It's a strike Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Lindor, batting with one down, takes a strike. Lindor swings through that one. They hope he's the guy to spark a comeback. He tends to play better when his team is behind, so why not him? And now one and two. Twins and misses. It's a strikeout. And they're down to their last out. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in, and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated, and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. The pitch. They're down to their final strike. Well, they didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. The Mets down to their final strike. And that's it. We've grown to expect him to just roll in the games and simply close them out easily. And he's made it look very easy at times. And now he's up to 40 saves for the year. Here now is our final line for tonight. Come in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Bo Naylor at the plate now. He's 0 for 1. That one's in there, and it's 0 and 1. Gomez, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. 0 and 2 now. And a strike and miss. Down on so strikes. Then and a strike out for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. One out, base is empty. Cuts and misses. It's a strike. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. Luke Lowe, now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. This could end it. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Great pitchers duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these pitchers, it really came down to a few key at bats. This Come in, John Chami, Chris Singleton. Number Late stages of this one. Nobody Hector. out in the ninth. Here's the third baseman, Jake Berger. Outfield the playing baseman. very deep, not wanting anything yeah. over their heads. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. Going one. Gomez, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. On 
on the ground right side. And that one handled. Sends it to first. Now one gone in the ninth. He's two outs away. Now the left fielder, Spencer Steer, swings through that one for strike one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. Got to be a it's a game. strikeout. Then I gotta get with that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even if it's still now, in the strike zone, can, can be easy. tough for hitters to get on Labor. top of. So they're down to their final out. Glaber Torres, the next up for the Marlins. There's a strike. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days you would think that hitters have made the adjustment but I don't know if you ever get used to it just pumping gas out of the bullpen so hard to play catch up hurry up batter right. you gotta be a short game that's the yeah. ball game here now is our final line for tonight Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Well, one run game, and at the plate for Miami, Stone Garrett. That one at the knees for a strike. Strike two. High fly ball, right field. Elliott drifts towards it. Puts it away for the end. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Arise. Swings through it for strike one. So he fair at 98 miles an hour. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. Marlins down to their final out. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jake Berger. And a swing and a miss. Gomez, just 19 years old. And he was drafted in the fourth round in 2023. This could end it. And that one is inside. Hit to the left side, and this is going to do it. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. Well, this turned out to be an exciting, very well-played game. Always feels great when you can take the lead in the eighth at home. Come out in the ninth, the crowd will be behind that pitcher as he tries to get those final three outs. Everybody goes home happy. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Jake Berger. 0 for 3 with two fly outs and a ground out. And a big swing and a miss. Gomez, a former all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. And that one finds its way through. So a man on base to start the inning. Singy, that's a start. Yeah, as soon as that ball got through, I could see down in the dugout, players pumping their fists. They know that they got a chance in this ball game. Chisholm swings through it for strike one. And that is cut on and miss. And the count is 0-2. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. And a swing and a miss. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. And there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile up. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment, Boot, get back on track. His team needs him. He's two outs away. And now for the Marlins, Glaber Torres. Late on that fastball. Owen just about gives his skipper a heart attack, but that's where he functions best. Oh. 
That one just misses. Ball one. Good job to fight that one off. This is a batter who loves to produce late in ball games. He doesn't shy away from the big moment. Swing and a miss. Got to be a short game. Out. And the Marlins with just one out left. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Spencer Steer. And he would be the tying run, boot, so we may see him try to launch one if he gets a good pitch to handle. On the ground. Whips it to first on the run. And that is the ball game. Nice sweep in this series, and you continue playing at home. Everything feels good right now. This is the type of run that you can put together. In John Chambi, Chris Singleton, late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Well, one run game. Here's Tyler Freeman to hit. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a ground out. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Right through there for a strike. Gets a piece, and it stays 0 and 2. One run game, bottom nine. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. The pitch. Hey, and a battle. swing and a miss. It's got to be a short game. And that's the first down. Then I got to get home from lunch. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in no, and close Catcher. the door. Whoa. Cancel any hope that that Dang opponent well. has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. This one in the air. He's under it. But it's the pitcher that makes the play. Two away down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath That's it a little bit job. and popped it up. Gabriel. So they're down to their final out. Aria. Gabriel Arias, the next to hit. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. A healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98. But a really good pass at the ball. One strike away. That one hit to right. And that'll do it. The A's hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. You don't reach 45 saves in a season by wasting opportunities. This guy's been taking advantage of these moments all year, and we saw it happen again in this win. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Stephen Kwan digs in for the Guardians. The left fielder. That's through there for a strike. Good eye in that spot. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swing and a miss. One ball. Gonna count one and two. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it. But he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. One run game, bottom nine. Hey, hey batter. Called strike it's three be a short and a fastball game. up in then the zone. Get home for lunch. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that Double punch out, you. you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, man kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. That pitch in for a strike. And the count is 0-2. Trying to close out a one-run lead. And the home team trying to pull hey, it out. Batter. It's got to be a short game. 
Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Last out for the Guardians in this one. Jose Ramirez digs in down. Hit to right, and that ought to do it. And that'll do it. The Yankees win the last two to take the three-game series. This is a huge win to take this series on the road before heading back home. You go home feeling good about yourselves. You've got some good... Welcome in, John Chami, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Now, Jackson Chorio. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Foul ball there. Gomez, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. The pitch. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now batting. Third baseman. Andrew. Andrew Monasterio. Monasterio. Up now for the Brewers. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. All right, Chris, when you talk about great logos, the Milwaukee Brewers, the M and the B that form a glove, not everyone even realizes that it's an M and a B with that glove. They started using it in 1978 and have been using it a lot more recently. It's a great logo, Chris. Yeah, Boog, I remember as a kid, my brother had that ball cap, and I would just kind of borrow it. Some would say steal it, but it was just such a cool-looking logo. I had no idea until years later that that's what was hidden on the inside of it, that M and that B, but very, very cool. Next offering in there for a strike, and the count is 0-2. If you're playing right now, tweet out, I was this many days old when I found out the Brewers. Hey, it's got to be a short sure game. <laughs> Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Players can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families, and that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Oh, quite Excellent win by this team. Welcome in, John Chambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Adael Amador digging in for the Rockies. And that one fouled off. Hey, look, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. I mean, just such a big difference mentally when you're chasing two runs instead of one. Goes hey, down batter. looking for it's the strike. Be a short game. Called then strike three and a fastball lunch. up in the zone. Next for Colorado, Drew Romo. There's a strike. Gomez, multi time all star. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. One down, base is empty. Hey, he batter. goes down looking. It's got to be a short game. This is definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. Come in and just destroy all hope. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. Montgomery in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. One strike away. Right up, there. It's got to be a short and game. And that'll do it. Yeah. It's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. Your background isn't what you like, but they didn't let any of those things...
come in. John Chami, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. One for three. Jake Cronenworth. In the air, out towards right center. Butler sizes this one up, calls it in, and there's one away. Here's the center fielder, Jackson Merrill. First pitch, just misses. Gomez, multi-time All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Fernandez drifts towards it, puts it away for the out. So it's their last chance in this one. Digging in, Ha Sung Kim. That catches the zone for a strike, and it's 0-1. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitch, hit to right, and that should do it. And that'll do it. The A's take the series opener here at home. Our final one for this afternoon. Welcome in, John Chami, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Brandon Drury to the plate. Fastball for a strike. Gomez, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. 0-2 now. Swings through that one, it's a strike. It's to be a short game. Then I gotta get home for lunch. Well, the first batter, it's always a big one for the closer. I mean, you get that punch out, you get settled in, you feel like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're gonna wrap this thing up. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Soderstrom puts it away for the out. Two down. Couple of pitches and a quick no out. Number three. So it's their last chance Take in this one. And next for the Angels, oh. Taylor Ward. Right through there for a strike. The Athletics leading by three. Here the last half of inning number nine. That one misses. And that is ball one. One strike away. Right yeah, through there. Got it's got to be a short game. And that'll do it. It takes a team effort to reach 50 saves in a season, and he wouldn't have games to close out if not for his teammates putting him in a position to succeed. They set him up, and he closes it down. The final line score for our ball game. Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Thanks Number for joining 31. us. Ninth Thank inning here you. with one away. Go so here's Christian Vasquez. Now back. The catcher. Christian. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Strike two. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. And now the lefty. 
Let's hang up, batter. It's got to be a short game. Then I got to get home. Oh, Definitely a hit of a pitch, but coming off the fastball to pitch before, it's kind of tough to recognize. You notice there's something different about it. He threw it with the same arm action, same release point, and he left it up. But the movement and the change of speeds, that was enough to do the job. And first offering is fouled off. Just about gives his skipper a heart attack, but that's where he functions best. Right through there for a strike. Gomez is just one strike Hurry away. Up, batter. It's got to be a short a game. And, a miss, that and that is the ball game. Here now is our final line score tonight. Welcome in, John Chavi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one, nobody out in the ninth. Here's the center fielder, Jack Sawinski. Swing and a miss, and it's a one. -on. Hey, look, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. Dives, but he kicks off his glove. That leaves him without a throw, and they can't get the out. Up next for the Pirates, Christian Encarnacion Strand. And that one fouled off. Power relievers one after another coming out of the bullpen these days. Got to be ready for that first pitch heater. Swing and a battle. miss. That's got to be a short game. Yes, that right him. by him. Just overmatched on that fastball right there. And it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. He's two outs away. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Andy Rodriguez. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Tying run at the plate. Yeah, batter. Misses. Gotta be a, a short game. Out. Then I gotta no, get interesting. Him. He's looking very comfortable out yeah, of the stretch <laughs> after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. So they're down to their final out. And now here is Leover Peguero. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Gomez is just one hey, strike away. It's got to be a short game. Yeah, and Go that's ahead. the ball game. Here now is our final line for tonight. In John Chambi, Chris Singleton, Number late 31. stages of this one, Next nobody turn. out in the ninth. Mitch Garver up to hit here. On the ground to the left. Tosses to first, and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Number 16. Right through there for a strike. Gomez, multi time all star. He features a four seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. One down, base is empty. On the ground, right side, Miranda. Over to first, and Renfro is retired. The batter, number six, designated hitter, David Fry. And now for Seattle, David Fry. Bounce to the right, Butler. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. This is why they turn to him to close out games. He's so reliable in these spots, and he just proved it for the 35th time this season. Nice job getting it done out of the pit. Fans, our final line score.
Welcome in, John Chami, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. Now batting Tristan Casas. That one finds the zone. One one. Gomez, multi-time All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and occasionally works in a splitter. That's to third. Whips it to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Now batting the left field. So here's Brown at the plate. Brown. And first offering is fouled off. Gomez. A very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together. Oh, and a nice sliding stop. The throw, and they get the out. Just so impressed with the movement on that play. Footwork was excellent. The arm strength was there. And, of course, the most important part was getting the out. Now the third baseman, and Manuel Valdez. To the right side, Butler. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the, the league today. But he had total command tonight. of this what game. Is... With now, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining Number us. 31. Ninth inning here Victory. with one away. Go, man. One down. So stepping in for Boston, Sidane Rafaela. Late on that fastball. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count. Just to pour it back. So they're down to their final out. And now a chance for Shea Langoliers. And a foul ball. With the tying run at the plate, here in the second game of the series. They're down to their final strike. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves and something. And be so good. Good. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. We go final one for tonight. Welcome in, John Shambi, Chris Singleton. Late stages of this one. Nobody out in the ninth. And now for Seattle, J.P. Crawford. He's already homered here in this one. Swing and a miss. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Looking to get the tying run on hey, base. Batter. It's got to be a short game. For the then I got to get home for lunch. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Now, Come in Better and field. close the door. Yeah. Cancel any hope run, that that rebound. opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. I'll tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Fought off foul. One down, base is empty. Hey, got batter. Him. It's gotta That's be a short the game. Out. Then I gotta get home. This is play. definitely what a team likes to see out of their closer. <laughs> Come in and Number just 20. destroy all home. First two batters, two strikeouts. See if he can strike out the side. So last chance for the Mariners. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Luke Rayleigh. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. And he takes a strike. All right, there's number eight, one away. A one-run lead here in the last half of yeah, inning him. number nine. It's got to be a short game. Got him, and that's the ball game. The ball game, this team had to battle with that tenth man, those fans making a lot of noise, but they took the lead in the ninth inning, quieted things down, and were able to get those Here's final three outs in the bottom half as well.